Christmas decorating for me is always about simple and elegant and trying to find any way I can to use the setup that I already have so that I can keep playing games with the boys and together we can create beautiful settings. And you know, they really like to get involved and of course their goal with Christmas is to bring all the boxes up from the basement and then dangle things everywhere in our house. Little stars, little ornaments, everything. So I do all I can to kind of help guide them a little bit because I want them to be involved, but I also, you know, I, I have a vision in mind and it's, so it's fun for us to kind of work this out together. So uh, our buffet is, I know I've done a video of this before for you guys to see, and I wanted to just show you how I took something that really already existed and just layered a few more beautiful Christmas elements into it. This is so quick and very easy to do. Um, I have stashes and stashes of these. These are actually plastic garlands. Um, I buy them on sale every year at the end of the season, and I love them because the kids can help me with them and they don't break. And, um, you know, it's a couple bucks for, you know, a huge packet of them. So I love these things. And I love using them in all different colors, too. I love how um, fun and sort of like jewelry for the holidays they feel. So um, I've had these for years, and they're getting a little banged up, which I like even more. Um, so basically, it's just, um, you know, this big mirror. And I took these and just started draping them and draping them. And, you know, it, it's not about perfect symmetry at all. In fact, I'd rather it not be perfectly symmetrical. I put some higher over here and some lower here. And these wreaths are literally, you know, these, you know, plastic, you know, artificial berries. They're the kind that you normally set on the tabletop and you put a hurricane in the middle of them. Um, but I love the pop of color, and um, they actually work quite well on the wall because they are so flat. And, um, you know, this is that's as complicated as that gets. Um, and then we have this antique clock, um, and these are also plastic, and I just draped them over the clock and sort of created a pile. This is one of my favorite statements because every single little piece on this has some meaning to us and um, you know everything from you know the little photo the little drawing that Max created that you know I just keep adding and adding and I think what's wonderful about it is it is so very abundant so for me to take at the holidays and you know drape a few more goodies on and just you know one single ornament here and create kind of a pile of these beautiful jewels amongst all this stuff it really looks glorious and then I you know put the little Santa man in there and you know just a few little holiday touches and then uh, over here on the wall, um, as I was doing this, I cut, you know, several um, pieces of boxwood off of our really big, juicy boxwood. And, um, you know, this is just, I just put it right over the corner, tied a pretty ribbon to it, um, an ornament dangling over it, and that's it, you know, simple and elegant.